Hello and welcome to the channel. I am now starting the automation project for the diesel water pump you may have seen in my other videos. I'm going to be using RadioWave and the LoRa protocol, which stands for long range, to control the engine remotely from the house. The distance to cover is about 700 meters, and there is a small hill in the middle that blocks direct sight. On this first video of this series, I'm covering the assembly of the RF sender and receiver and I will test the modules using the example code on the LoRa library for Arduino. On this project, I'm gonna be using these cheap and crappy PCBs, although I wouldn't personally recommend them for your own sanity. This device uses the SPI bus, which stands for Serial Peripheral Interface Bus, to communicate with the Arduino. In practical terms, this means the module uses six pin, plus two more uh, for the power lines at 3.3 volts. That is important not to fry the components. Soldering these PCBs is a pain, so make sure you use good quality tin and that the soldering iron tip stays clean. In that sense, keeping the temperature to the minimum possible will help prevent oxidation and the solder will stick better. If the temperature is too high, you'll burn the solder and the PCB away. Those are all the tips I can give you because, well, my solders are crap. What you need to double check is that there are no pins short circuited. Try to use the least amount of tin possible. This is the wiring diagram, and as you can tell, I'm using an Arduino Nano. Now just take your time to double check that everything is correctly wired, because it is a pain to desolder, and then try to keep it as tidy as possible, although it is literally impossible. It looks horrible, but the important thing here is that it's not shorted. This is the final result. It is important to connect the antenna before testing the modules, as transmitting without it can damage the components. I have now connected the two Arduinos to my PC and uploaded the receiver and sender code to each board from the LoRa library example. The serial monitor shows good communication has been achieved and the signal intensity is strong at minus 30 decibels. We will need to keep an eye on these values for the long distance tests. So next to come is some range tests to see the capabilities of these 100 millivolt modules. And secondly, remotely controlling this 25 kilogram servo that will be used for the throttle. Thank you for watching, until the next time.